Hello my friends, welcome to another ESP32 tutorial series where we will be using the inbuilt hole sensor of the ESP32. I like to use a small battery or even a magnet to use the hole sensor because it can read the changes in a magnetic field between positive and negative. Ok my friends let's start. So we're going to make an integer and call it val equals zero. Get rid of that line and then start your serial monitor. Let's go with 9600 on this one. Ok let's clear up another line over here. Silly line. Ok my friends. Now what we're going to do is we are going to say value equals whole read. And then we say it open in the brackets. Do not pull zero otherwise things will not go that well. Ok, then next up we say serial.println, that way it will print underneath each other and we print value. Let's put in a small delay into it. And now let's compile our code. Ok my friends, in the serial monitor we can see it reading positive and negative values. No, your ESP32 is not broken, this is very normal. The reason is it is reading the differences between positive and negative all the time. So it can literally read the power of the positive and negative fields between batteries or everything you have of a magnetic field. Now in the serial plotter we can see this change. You see every time it reads positive it goes all the way up. And when you put a negative field next to it, it will go all the way down. Ok my friends, I hope you like this video. Please leave a thumbs up and say in the comment section what you think about this video. I hope to see you in the next one.